you've probably mislabeled many other food items, like say raspberries, as they're actually a member of the rose family, along with cherries, apricots, plums, pears, apples, peaches, or blackberries. They are added to this category based on their flowers. They bloom in five equal petals arranged around a central core. Bananas are considered berries, while strawberries aren't since they belong to the same rose family. We also share about 50% of our DNA with bananas, which explains why both bananas and certain attractive people can both have appeal. Another common misconception, white chocolate isn't actually chocolate since it doesn't contain any chocolate solids. It's made only from a mixture of sugar, milk products, vanilla, lecithin, and cocoa butter. Parents all over the world don't try to convince their kids to eat broccoli for no reason. On a calorie-by-calorie basis, it turns out that broccoli has nearly as much protein in it as a steak. Now, I'm not convinced parents actually know that, but given the low-fat content, broccoli has many other health benefits as opposed to meat. We now see it as the mandatory companion for fries, but at some point in time, ketchup was actually considered to have healing properties. In the 1880s, a doctor based in Ohio indicated that tomatoes could help treat digestive issues, publishing a ketchup-like formula that was later transformed into a pill. Hey, you want to have a pill with those fries? Speaking of French fries, it turns out one of the most popular side dishes in the world isn't actually French. Potatoes served this way actually originated in Belgium, but they're called that because of how they're cut. And maybe also because the name Brussels sprouts was already taken. I'm almost certain there's a jar of peanut butter somewhere in your cupboard. But I'll bet you didn't know how valuable it actually was. And I'm not talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Studies have shown that Americans go through enough peanut butter to coat the floor of the Grand Canyon each year. Just to be a bit more precise here, that's about 500 million pounds. Hey, if somebody did that on YouTube, I'd watch. The pink coloring of salmon isn't always like that by default. Wild salmon is pink due to a large amount of shrimp they consume natively. Farm-raised salmon, however, is generally white, so producers need to add plant-based pigments to get that light pink hue. Carrots weren't originally orange either. The red-yellow tint we are now familiar with comes from a genetic mutation of the well-known vegetable that occurred somewhere in the 16th century. Carrots were initially white or purple. Just like you add ketchup to the side of fries, you're most likely having a dab of wasabi with every plate of sushi. Well, it's most certainly dyed horseradish. The Japanese alternative to horseradish is quite expensive. That's why 99% of restaurants in the US actually use regular horseradish instead. You may see them packed together in the supermarket, but red, green, and yellow peppers aren't actually the same vegetable. You'd need different types of seeds to be able to grow them individually, as they're each their own type of plant species. Did you know one in four hazelnuts ends up in a Nutella jar? The creamy spread is so popular that scientists are looking into ways to grow hazelnuts in labs to counteract the global shortage. That's something to think about when you ask for an extra topic. Sure, there's an expiration date on each bottle of water, but the water itself doesn't actually expire. The date mentioned there is, in fact, for the bottle itself, since the plastic can eventually leak harmful substances into the water. Ever wondered why airplane food sometimes tastes bland? The chef may not always be to blame. The altitude you're flying at has some effects on your body chemistry, making you taste things differently. You've added it to a salad at least once, but you may be surprised to know that cilantro and coriander are not, in fact, the same thing. Coriander is what the dried seeds are called, while the leaves and the stems go by cilantro. So now you know. For all the fruit lovers out there, scientists came up with a fruit salad tree. Yep, that's right, a tree that can grow different types of fruit at the same time. They were developed in Australia and can support up to six different types of fruit. There's a stone fruit variation that features peaches, plums, nectarines, apricots, and peach cots, and a citrus variation for those who prefer lemons, limes, mandarins, oranges, or even tangelos, pomelos, and grapefruits. You most likely avoid it because it can give you bad breath. But garlic is considered one of the most nutrient-dense foods out there. 
A single clove of garlic can contain 2% of your vitamin B6 the whole day. Studies have shown that the chemical that gives garlic its distinctive flavor, called allicin, is good for your health. The only type of food that never spoils when stored properly is honey. Or at least, the only one we've discovered so far. That's because it contains a high amount of sugar and has a low moisture content. An enzyme created by bees also helps do the trick, as it can suppress any bacterial growth. Of course, if you store your honey the wrong way and expose it to additional moisture, it can go bad. But honey that is sealed and stored correctly technically has no expiration date. Now, if you're just starting out with your cooking skills, you'll be pleased to know mushrooms can't be overcooked. That's because they contain a polymer called chitin. This chemical allows them to remain tender, even if you cook them from a few minutes to up to an hour. Hey, just add some butter and garlic. Nobody will ever know. Marsupials, animals with pouches on their bellies, usually have them facing upwards. But not wombats. These toothy critters like digging too much, which is why their pouches are turned down to their hind paws. This way, they can dig without harming their babies. By the way, all marsupial cubs are called joeys. That includes kangaroos, koalas, and of course, wombats too. Spiders have a tiny brain, but their web is a powerful tool. They use it to see, hear, and feel everything around. Crazier still, the web also serves as a kind of a memory bank. Instead of remembering where they stashed the prey, spiders leave it to the web. Kangaroo rats can survive for years without water at all. They get all the moisture they need from seeds they eat, and living in an arid desert doesn't cause them any trouble. Plumed bascalus blizzards can run on water. Their hind feet have long toes with fringes of skin spreading out in water. As a result, a bigger surface of the lizard's foot comes into contact with the water, and then the lizard has only to pump its legs real fast. When a cardinal fish guzzles too much special zooplankton, the tiny creature starts to glow inside the fish's body. It becomes more visible to predators and spits the plankton out, which looks as if it breathes out bursts of bluish fire. There's a particular jellyfish species in the world's oceans, which can live forever. When the creature reaches the end of its life, it transforms back into its polyp state and restarts its life cycle over and over again. Tarsiers have the biggest eye-to-body size ratio. Their eyes take up almost the whole head. In return, these huge eyeballs allow the animal to see at night as clearly as during the day. Gecko lizards are equipped with tiny hairs on their foot pads. These things let them climb any surface and run on it as if on the ground, even if it's your ceiling. The pistol shrimp gets its name from its weird claw. It's normally open, but when it snaps shut, it creates a bubble projectile that stuns its prey. The snap is so powerful, it creates a flash of light and momentarily heats up the water to the temperature of the sun's surface. A possum is any snake's natural nemesis. These creatures are immune to snake venom and like to munch on serpents a lot. Not to be confused with possums, though. When hippos get too hot, they ooze a pinkish liquid through their skin. It soon covers their bodies and protects them from sunburns. Meerkats, also seeing lots of sunny days, have black rings around their eyes that look like they're wearing sunglasses. And, well, it's exactly what those rings do. The black fur blocks out sunlight, allowing meerkats to look straight at the sky. Parrots, with their ability to mimic human speech, pale in comparison with lyrebirds. These copycats can learn and produce over 20 different sounds, including chainsaws, dog barks, car engines, and fire alarms. And of course, other bird songs too. The alpine ibex is the absolute climbing champion of the animal world. Mother goats with their kids seem to be defying gravity by scaling flat vertical cliff walls where no other creature can walk. Male goats, on the other hand, prefer flatlands themselves. Lizards are known to regrow their tails, and sometimes even other limbs, but the axolotl beat them all. These strange critters can regenerate even such complex organs as their heart or brain. Salmon, this graceful water racer, has a built-in navigation system. Its body reacts to the magnetic field of the Earth, 
and helps the fish find its way across thousands of miles. When threatened, bombardier beetles pop open the tip of their behind and spray the attacker with nauseous liquid. The chemical reaction inside the beetle's body makes this spray as hot as boiling water. Fleas may be small, but they're the best jumpers in all creation. If humans could jump like these tiny pests, we'd be able to hop over the top of the Eiffel Tower. Millipedes are scary enough by themselves, but some of their defense mechanisms are something else. For example, they might exude cyanide, burning in response to threat, and others can glow in the dark. Octopuses have three hearts, two of which pump blood to the gills, and the third one rolls it to the other organs. Their blood is blue, by the way, and they also have as many as nine brains. One is central, and the other eight are, you guessed it, controlling their limbs. Horses have frogs in their feet. No, not live ones. A horse's frog is a triangular organ that absorbs shock from stepping on the foot and helps pump blood from their feet up. On the topic of horses' feet, their hooves are made of the same stuff your nails and hair are, keratin. So, basically, horses run on their nails. The starfish doesn't have either brain or heart, and neither does it have lungs. Yet it has hundreds of tiny feet, allowing it to walk, and it also pumps water with them through the star's body. The water acts like blood for this creature. Up, the phone's ringing. Must be something urgent. At 11 p.m.? Only, all the gadgets in the house are silent. It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. Ooh, That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night when nothing distracts you. Hearing noise in your ears is called tinnitus. It's quite common and affects 15-20% to 20% of people. Tinnitus starts in the part of your inner ear shaped like a snail. It's called the cochlea. Your middle ear picks up sound waves. They get translated into electrical impulses in the inner ear. Then, sensory nerves carry these impulses to your brain. If your inner ear works incorrectly, your brain can misinterpret the sounds. Tinnitus occurs when there are some changes in the cochlea's nerve. They can be caused by loud noise, like chainsaws, jackhammers, loud music, or shouting. Tinnitus can start after a head, neck, or ear injury, or after you begin to take certain medications. You can also hear ringing in your ears if you have some blood pressure issues. Elsewhere, in the amazing human body, some of the bacteria living in your gut can produce electricity. Shocking! They give off electrons, and this creates tiny electrical currents. That's likely to be the bacteria's backup system, their way to generate energy. Humans are the only animals that have chins. Even our closest genetic relatives, gorillas and chimps, lack this small piece of bone that extends forward from the jaw. Their lower jaws slant down and back from their front teeth. Scientists still haven't figured out this mystery. The opinions about why people are made this way differ. Some researchers think chins help us chew our food. Others are sure they have something to do with speaking. A few of us think it's simply a special place to grow a goatee. Blinking keeps your eyes clean and moist. But that's not all. Every time you blink, you take a micro-nap. Researchers from Washington University have found out that blinking makes your attention sharper and works as a teeny recharge. Ever seen tiny dots traveling in squiggly lines, especially when you're looking at a bright blue sky? These dots are only visible for a second or so and might look like itty-bitty worms. Those are your white blood cells moving through the capillaries in front of the retina. That's the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eyes. Curiously, most people don't even notice the dots unless asked to pay attention. The pineal gland in your brain handles the production of melatonin. That's the very hormone that regulates your sleep patterns. The gland looks like a pine nut, and that's how it got its name. The human brain is 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. 
By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd be gulping down water for the entire 10-60 to minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. For comparison, the average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of 8 interwoven muscles. But unlike other muscles in your body, these aren't situated around a supporting bone. The tongue structure is similar to an elephant's trunk or an octopus's tentacles. Your body emits visible light. Uh, That's why they call me Sunny. (laughs) You're the brightest at 4 p.m. and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is a thousand times less intense than what your eyes can see. Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals, like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. In an adult, the blood makes up 7-8% of the total body weight. About 55% of your blood is liquid plasma. The rest is red and white blood cells and platelets. They form clots and prevent bleeding. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. The food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. Only a bit deeper, the passage splits into the esophagus for food and liquid and trachea for air. When you swallow, your airway gets automatically closed off. This prevents you from accidentally inhaling food. But occasionally, it still happens. Your brain sometimes generates more than 48 thoughts in just one minute. That's almost 3,000 thoughts per hour and 69,000 per day. Well, here's some facts you'll find hard to digest. (laughs) Your stomach has a pretty incredible capacity. Being able to hold up to half a gallon of liquids, that's a whole large bottle of Coke. It's pretty hard to estimate how much hard food you can eat because it's processed with your teeth before it gets to your stomach. There's definitely not enough room for a turkey, but a good-sized chicken would probably fit in it. If you were asked where your stomach was, you would probably point to your tummy. Sorry, that's wrong. It's actually up here, hidden in between your ribs. Scientists believe that the appendix will disappear eventually. Nobody really knows why we need it, but some researchers claim it might have existed to help our ancestors digest tree bark. Because it's no longer part of our daily diet, the appendix isn't necessary and can disappear from our bodies without any consequences. The appendix isn't the only obsolete part of our body. Wisdom teeth aren't that useful either. Yeah, they used to come in handy whenever our ancestors lost some of their teeth, but the only thing they help us lose now is the money we spend extracting them. Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. They grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. Check it out. See? Your liver acts as your own personal bodyguard, protecting you from toxins and many other things you don't want hanging around in your body. It's also pretty indestructible and can even regenerate. Only about 43% of you is actually you. Over 50% of the cells in your body belong to tiny little creatures that mainly live in your gut. Still, even though your own cells are fewer than microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. See? You're not alone. With this in mind, your own genes are less than half of what you really consist of. If you take all the microbes dwelling within your body and count their genes, you'll find between 2 to 20 million. If you sleep, it doesn't mean all of your body sleeps. In fact, sometimes your brain has to work even harder when you're asleep. It needs to process tons of information, and reports usually take a lot of time. 
The nose definitely gets a good rest while you're sleeping. Amazingly, your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. You wouldn't even be bothered if there was a really terrible smell in your bedroom. No comment. The nose is probably one of the most underappreciated parts of the body. We wouldn't even be able to enjoy eating without it. About 80% of the taste of any food is thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. With no sense of smell, you're likely to recognize food mostly by texture. So an onion might seem no different than a big refreshing apple. Yeah, try that and leave me a comment on how that goes. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells, but they were wrong. Recent research showed that people are actually able to distinguish between more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. Your nose just doesn't help you breathe and catch odors. It filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if it's necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air of dirt. When you age, your brain is gradually reducing in size. By age 75, it's much smaller than at 30, and it starts shrinking by the age of 40. It happens to everyone and doesn't affect your mental strength in any way. Our brain can store only 7 bits in its short-term memory. Don't even try to compare your brain with a phone capacity, not even the one you had back in 2005. That's why you can't even learn a phone number by heart. Our short-term memory functions just like a chalkboard. You can get some information, but sooner or later, you run out of space. To check your working memory capacity, try this test. Ask a friend to write a list of 10 words and read it to you. Most people recall 7 or fewer items from that list. Your RAM, or working memory, is an essential thing that we need to perform almost any everyday activity including basic conversations, surfing the net, and even petting your dog. Our strongest and emotional memories are often fake. The central memory gives us the confidence to believe that we remember everything, even though most of the details are made up in our heads. Not only your brain shrinks as you get older, you too shrink dramatically. The bones get more brittle, the backbone gets compressed. A similar thing happens when you rest at night. Your bones kind of relax, too. Because of this, you wake up taller in the mornings than you are at the end of the day. Among mammals, only humans can walk on two legs for their entire lives. You might think that kangaroos or gorillas move in the same way, but kangaroos use their tail as a third leg, and gorillas use their long arms to keep balance. Your bones take part in metabolism, too. Since they mostly consist of calcium, when there's not enough of this element in your blood, bones start shedding it into the bloodstream, balancing your body. The same reaction works in reverse, too. When there's too much calcium in your blood, it goes into the bones to be stored for later. The only bone to have a sense of humor in your body is inside your upper arm. That's why it's called the humerus. Okay, I made that one up. Moving along. The only bones that never grow are found in our ears. We can hear thanks to these tiny bones because they have adapted to transmit sound vibrations. Doctors call them the oscular chain. One of these hearing bones, the stapes, is the smallest bone in your entire body. It's no larger than a grain of rice. Our height, shape of our body, and skin color depend a lot on where our ancestors used to live but we can adapt to new conditions even within our own lifespan. For example, if you move from plains to the mountains, you'll eventually develop more red blood cells to compensate for the lack of oxygen. And naturally, if you move from a colder climate to a hotter and sunnier one, your skin will get darker to adapt. Our lifespan is programmed within our cells. They constantly renew and divide, but they have a sort of internal timer that stops at some point. Some cells also stop reproducing sooner than others. On average, cells cease dividing when we reach the age of 100. That means if we could find a way to trick ourselves into turning off the timer, we could potentially live forever.
Oceans cover 70% of the Earth. On average, the ocean is eight Empire State buildings deep, and less than 5% of its mysterious depths have been explored. It's even possible to find lakes and rivers beneath the ocean. They're denser than the rest of the water surrounding them, so you can clearly see the difference. When the coral is in shallow waters, intense sunlight can damage the algae living inside it. To protect the algae, the coral produces some proteins that act as some kind of sunscreen for it, so they really don't need to spend money on it. Okay, most of the ocean may not be explored, but what we do know is about 20 million tons of gold is dispersed through its dark waters. It's concentrated in really small amounts, which is why it doesn't pay off to mine it. If we could take it out, every person on the planet would get 9 pounds of gold. When sharks need their morning joe, they go to a cafe too. Back in 2002, researchers found an area in the Pacific Ocean called the White Shark Cafe, where great white sharks come during the winter. They simply hang out, tell jokes, and laugh at stories of how many humans they've scared, and then go back to the coast to scare us a little bit more when the weather gets warmer. Hey, have you had a great white latte? Try one! The widest point of the Pacific Ocean goes from Indonesia to Colombia, and at that part is 12,300 miles across, over five times wider than the diameter of the moon. We might imagine oceans are cold, especially in depths where the temperature is only 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But there's an exception. Water that comes out of hydrothermal vents in the seafloor has a temperature of up to 750 degrees. Humans are the only animals whose brain gets smaller. Yup, as we get older, it tends to shrink. It can do so even because of isolation and loneliness. Other animals, even some of our distant cousins from another side of the family tree, like monkeys and chimpanzees, have no problem with that. I'm guessing television is the probable cause. Our eardrums have nothing to do with the sense of sight, but they still move when we move our eyes. In the average lifetime, our heart beats over 2.5 billion times. I've counted. Our nose can detect over 1 trillion smells, and our lips are hundreds of times more sensitive than the tips of our fingers. Two of our body parts never stop growing – your nose and your ears. Cockroaches are tough. They can survive harsh conditions and have been around since dinosaurs ruled our planet. But the termite queen beats all that with a lifespan of 50 years. That's the longest any insect can live. Regular termites live only 1-2 to two years. It's not the water camels store in their humps, but fat. They store water in their bloodstream. These can fly really high, more than 29,500 feet, which is even higher than Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on our planet. Sloths are able to hold their breath longer than dolphins. Yup, they slow their heart rates, and they can stay that way for almost 40 minutes. Dolphins have to come to the surface to catch some air every 10 minutes. The moon has volcanoes, and scientists believe these might have been active around 100 million years ago when dinosaurs still ruled our planet. Wow, the view must have been magnificent! There are watermelons the size of a grape. Cucamelons, if you prefer, mouse melons, actually look like really small watermelons, but at the same time have a citrus flavor. Not just mouse melons, there's also the kangaroo mouse. This animal doesn't feel the need to drink water. It lives in the Nevada desert, and since its habitat is really dry, it simply learned to quench its thirst through seeds it likes to eat. You may think parking is expensive in the area where you live, but it's probably cheaper than a spot you'd pay in Hong Kong. Just a 135-square-foot spot placed in front of the center, which is the fifth tallest building in the city, was purchased for almost a million bucks. Hmm, I'll take a bus ticket, please. Speaking of expensive, and I was, the world's priciest hot dog is $169 and you can try it out in Seattle, Washington. Mm, I don't have the money, but I am a little intrigued, must admit. An Australian barista set a world record for the most cappuccinos made in one hour – 420 of them. <laughs> That's really a java jive. You can taste garlic with your feet. Rub a clove right in your feet – of course, take the socks off beforehand – and wait for it. The chemical responsible for its unique smell can be absorbed through the skin even though the clove was never in your mouth. By the way, lobsters can try out the same experiment. Well, they actually taste any food with their feet. Okay, researchers have found many things that are evidence of prehistoric animals or our human ancestors that lived thousands of years ago, like bones, teeth, stone tools, and a piece hmm? of chewing gum, dating from almost 10,000 years ago.
In Tibet, there are black diamond apples that aren't green or red, but dark purple. The place where they grow has plenty of ultraviolet light over the day, while the temperatures drastically go down during the night, which makes the apple skin get a darker color. Australia has a lake of naturally bubblegum pink color. The unusual color is there because of the pigment from a certain type of algae living there. Clouds look so fluffy like they're made of giant puffs of cotton. But the average one weighs around 1.1 million pounds. So please, stay up there. A farmer from Iowa got hiccups that didn't stop for the next 68 years. First, hiccuping was about 40 times a minute, and after a while, 20 times. He actually spent 70% of his life hiccuping. A million seconds is somewhere around 12 days, and a billion seconds is almost 32 years. Nothing unusual here, just a little bit of good old math that reminds us how cool the time is. The Mozilla Firefox logo is a fox embracing the planet. The original browser's logo was a phoenix bird reborn from its flames designed in 2002. Back then, the browser was named Mozilla Firebird. Two years later, they changed the name to Firefox. It's the English nickname for the red panda. It's a rare and protected animal from Asia. There's a bear standing on its hind legs hidden within the famous Toblerone logo. The mountain-shaped chocolate bar was created in Bern, the Swiss capital, by Emil Baumann and Theodore Tobler. It's nicknamed the City of Bears. It has a bear featured on its coat of arms. That's why this animal is featured in the image of the Matterhorn Mountain that inspired the logo. The image of a happy girl in Wendy's logo was inspired by the daughter of the fast food chain's creator, Dave Thomas. Wendy is her nickname. If you look closer, you'll notice her collar spells out the word mom. Whether intentional or not, it became something to mean a homely feel the restaurant gives its guests. 941, set as the time in iPhone's ads, isn't a random choice of numbers. In 2007, Steve Jobs first introduced the iPhone to the public after a 41-minute presentation at exactly 9.41 a.m. The first Apple logo was designed in 1976 and featured Sir Isaac Newton sitting under a tree. With an apple about to fall on his head, it seemed too complex and unclear to many, so Steve Jobs wanted it replaced. The designer of the new logo, Rob Yanoff, made it an apple we all know today. He was most likely inspired by the original logo, but wanted to make it more simple. He added the bite so that no one would confuse it with a cherry, a peach, or any other round fruit with a stem. Without realizing it, he added a fun pun to the logo. Bite seems very much like the computer term. Toyota's logo symbolizes the merge of the hearts of customers and the company. Two overlapping ovals stand for T for Toyota and the steering wheel. The outer oval is for the world embracing Toyota. The background space represents the infinite values of the company. Great quality, value beyond expectation, the joy of driving, innovation and integrity and safety, the environment and social responsibility. Life insurance for Apollo 11 astronauts cost a fortune since the mission was so risky and unpredictable. The astronauts couldn't afford it so they signed hundreds of covers that their families could sell to fund some big expenses in case anything went wrong. Snickers Candy Bar was created by Frank Mars, founder of Mars Inc. It was inspired by an already existing snack made of nougat, peanut, and caramel, and named after Mars's family horse. Until 1990, they called it a marathon candy bar in the UK. As soon as they switched the name to Snickers there, it went from the number one selling candy bar in Britain to the number three. When NBC's logo was developed, color televisions were revolutionary gadgets. The logo with a rainbow of colors points it out. The peacock illustrates the phrase, as proud as a peacock. It was meant to show they were proud of their new color system. The six different colors of the feathers represent the six different divisions of NBC. The yellow arrow in the Amazon logo that starts at A and ends at Z shows you can buy anything from them, from A to Z. It also looks like a smile, symbolizing the happiness of their customers. The original name of the business was not Amazon, but Cadabra Inc. Jeff Bezos experimented with different names for his website as well, and one of them, Relentless.com, 
still redirects to Amazon. Papa John's Pizza CEO, John Schnatter, started his business in a broom closet in a bar he co-owned with his dad in Indiana in 1984. Over the years, it has grown to the third largest pizza chain in the world. With 5,500 restaurants in 49 countries, Baskin Robbins has 31 different flavors, and the letters B and R in the logo hide this number. The B curve stands for three, and the stem of the R stands for one. You can visit the first website ever created, called the World Wide Web Project, even today. It went live in 1991 and now serves as a historical archive about the World Wide Web. It doesn't have a single picture, just text. The web itself was invented by Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist working at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, in 1989. The first product ever scanned at a supermarket was a 10-pack of Wrigley Juicy Fruit Gum in 1974 in Troy, Ohio. The barcode was invented and patented back in 1952, but the idea only took off when its inventor started working for IBM. Until then, grocery clerks had to put a price sticker on every item, and cashiers had to read those tags and type the price by hand. The Quicksilver logo is a customized version of the Great Wave off Kanagawa, a famous woodprint by Japanese artist Hokusai. When Quicksilver expanded their business and started a woman's brand, Roxy, they mirrored their logo so that one looks like a heart. Until 2010, rural broadband internet was slower than carrier pigeons. In a speed test, they let pigeons with USB sticks fly from a Yorkshire farm to cover the distance of 50 miles. They finished the race an hour and a quarter later. By this time, only 24% of a 300 megabyte file had been uploaded. Picasa lets you organize and view your images online and its logo is more than a simple colorful camera shutter. The white space in the middle forms a house, meaning it will be a safe home for your photos. It also has a house or casa in its name, and P stands for pixels. Letters L and G in the LG logo form a human face. L is the nose and G represents the rest of it. They call it the face of the future. And the idea was to give the brand some human elements and make it friendlier. Many tech companies test their new products in New Zealand. It's an ethnically diverse country with English-speaking people, and most importantly, it's so isolated, news about product failure won't spread quickly. FedEx logo might seem basic when it comes to its colors and font, but it's hiding an arrow between the letters E and X. It stands for speed, accuracy, striving for perfection, and perseverance in achieving goals. The four rings in the Audi logo represent the four companies that blended together to form it. Audi, DKW, Porsche, and Wanderer. The latter started as a bicycle repair shop. Gillette Company, famous for its razors, wanted their logo to be as sharp and precise as possible. This is how they ended up with a cut between G and I that forms blade-like shapes on top of each other. Black and white colors in the logo symbolize the elegance, purity, prestige, and excellence of the products. Some people have a fear of technology, aka technophobia. Now it mostly has to do with complex new devices like computers, but it has its roots back in the time of the Industrial Revolution. It began in the 18th century when workers were afraid new machines would take their jobs. Google rents goats from a special company in California to mow their lawns. They bring about 200 goats to Google headquarters at Mountain View. It takes them around one week to eat all the unnecessary grass and fertilize the land. The founders of Domino's were originally planning to add a dot to the Domino's in the logo for every new place they opened. But it was growing way too fast and too big for that, so they decided to keep just three dots for the three original locations. In 2004, At became the first new character to be added to Morse code for the first time in at least 60 years. It consists of the signals for A and C with no break in between, so you can spell your email in Morse code now if you ever have to. In its 150-year history, Levi's had eight logo redesigns. The first one was called the Two Horse Brand. It had a lot of detail in it. 
The current logo, known as Batwing, is over 50 years old and represents the shape of a pocket you can find on every pair of Levi's jeans. It's supposed to give a youthful yet timeless feel. Evernote app stores your notes and has an elephant for its logo because the saying goes, an elephant never forgets. And these animals do have an impressive memory. The ear on the elephant is curled over like a post-it note. The H in the Hyundai logo isn't just for the company's name. It's the outlines of two people firmly shaking hands. It's an exchange of trust between the company and its customers. The oval around the figures is a symbol of Hyundai's global expansion. The silver color symbolizes sophistication and perfection. The digital blue version reflects reliability and excellence. Lacoste got its iconic logo thanks to a bet René Lacoste, co-founder of the company and tennis player made with the captain of the French Davis Cup team. The captain promised to give Lacoste a crocodile skin suitcase if he won the match. Lacoste didn't win, but got his nickname Crocodile out of it. He had a crocodile embroidered on his tennis court blazer. When it was time to launch his apparel brand, the crocodile came in handy. Oreos are the world's most popular manufactured cookie, with over 40 billion pieces produced every year. Originally, they were sold by weight at the price of $2.35 for 9 and a quarter pounds. A circle topped with a two-bar cross stamped on each cookie is a Nabisco logo that is a European symbol of quality. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.